know it's good if you boy Mikey Pipes up in here at Nationals. One outs, what? Cars like a knife! And don't forget it, motherfuckers. It's been a crazy weekend. We're about to get down to business. We got our top contender match about to go down. Melbourne, make some noise! Yeah! <laughs> to my right! Out of Queensland, the reigning Real Talk champion. Show a lot of love for Deliver. His opponent, to my left, out of Tasmania, give it up for Dundee. We flip the coin, Dunn has won, he's chosen for Deliver to go first, let's get it. I met Dundee like three years back in Hobart. When Taz battles in full effect, I was like, fuck me, this cunt's a beast. I bet he goes hard on the streets like wet cement. This fucker's even looked after me when it came to carb got beef, and for that, I'd give you all respect. But if you even think you're half of me is an artist D, those shards must be fucking with your head. <laughs> See, I've been working on my floors for like four years now, so when I lay you out straight like a tile, my apprenticeship is done. You do okay for an old timer, but it's like you miss sleeping with your mate. You never get on top, but you're always getting sunned. Mm. See, he's only staying up in his scene starving because he's picking off his face, rocking glass pipes the only time you ever smoke a weapon done. See, I could beat him at his own game, but if I'm being honest, talking a load of crock is just something that I never would have done. Yeah. Alright, this battle's kind of like a menstrual cycle, because my flow's dirty. You need raps, pussy, period. Because my, my lines are like the drug propofol to Michael. Straight popping King's mysterious. And I've heard rumours people thinking you're my idol. I'm like, come on, can't you serious? I'm the one that holds the title, rolling like a crocodile, and in Dundee in three, like the movies did you delirious. Oh. Yeah. Alright, I'm the most underrated champ since Rocky, so I'll be flying when I'm deader in heaven. But tonight, you'll see this guy get body from a line like the Barley Nine when I put a full stop to what he writes like the end of a sentence. See, my light's shining bright, it's like the afterlife's calling. I'll leave you dead at 27 like the best of our legends. Mm. So now every year on November 11, when all the rest of our vets get remembered, you'll have to buy a poppy and respect it as veterans. Mm. Here, give me a second, lest we forget him. Yeah. 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 All right, now, now BK and Epps want to get the step and flex their aggression on Mexican henchmen. Mm. I'll beat an essay for intentionally testing my depth of perception. Because if the best contentions here getting a lesson, then you definitely peasants. Who's next is the question. Give it up for that round! Yeah. First round on Dungeon, let's go! Let's take it back to 2010. It's the first time I met this hopeless mess. That's three years, so let's have a look at how we both progressed. Well, in three years, I've dropped two albums, played festivals and loads of sets, you've spent three years of constant whinging that your battle bars go overhead. <laughs> you think you don't get any hype. You think your spits got jibbed. Cunt, you are overhyped as fuck. Well, you pissed off, bitch. Your priorities are backwards on some crisscross shit. So watch done, drop D like a slipknot riff. <laughs> not have accepted this battle. You're fucked, you liver. <laughs> I slow it down. I said you're more fucked than D's liver. Yeah. You don't get it, that's me, kid. I grew up in a pub with free liquor, so watch me fuck this liver up like I'm getting drunk off a cheap spirit. Whoa! Which is, Whoa. Which is Whoa. funny, because all your friends know you ain't the type of dude to party with. Because every time you drink alcohol, you turn into a nasty prick. Charge the piss, he'll start some shit off one little Bacardi sip and leave a wave of destruction like Fukushima when tsunami hit. Yeah. You think your Arsenal or Charlie Clips, with all them complex bars you spit, can't you spend half of your life locked behind him? No wonder you got bastard brew. <laughs> Plus you're barred from your local bar for acting like a bastard kid. If you cashed in a reality check, you'd have nothing left to buzz him with. Oh. You say Bogan, you get barred up while listening to a Barnsley hit. I'll finish you. I'll finish you. You're Syria and I'm Barack Obama, bitch. You will hide your face in shame just like an Islamic Iraqi chick. When I burn a murder, rappers turn his battle to the Gaza Strip. Yeah. 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 I'm leaving your rap career written off like all them stolen cars you flipped. I'm sponsored by VC. 
is sponsored by Salvation Army bits. <laughs> your mother's been around the block, cunts bust a nut and then they pass her quick. How ironic you're getting sunned, but you still don't know who your father is. <laughs> Bogan, eh? I bet you stole that swag right from under Malcolm Douglas. He's probably looking through his bag right now in the pouring rain like, you lousy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but your whole stole's boring, mate. It's lacking direction, so you probably should have stole his compass. But then again, he's just going through an awkward phase of racking anything. He tried snorting crackers, cheese and crumpets. <laughs> and his album's called The Pelican, because he's known for his deep throat and beady eyes. <laughs> and every time, and every time he rides, his drugs he's peddling. He loves his coke and heroin, but beats his wife. He keeps him breathing like a ventolin. Suit of ephedrine, replace adrenaline. That's what's keeping him alive. But it, it's just evident you're injecting shit. I bet everyone here can remember Dunnis twice the size. <laughs> but it's like I'm putting Dundee on that gym tip. Like a spot, I'll make him lift it while I raise the bar. You'll never work out enough to rip shit. I'm in the business of bagging bodies like a coroner's assistant that makes you laugh. You... Alright, I fucking admit it. Done as this tough competition. I'd have to plug him right in the socket for him to ever take charge. Did you dumb cunts get it? Nah, I bet you didn't. I said he'd have to take the phone right out my pocket for him to ever handle my bars. Alright, I was stoned as fuck when I wrote this beef. So you could say I've raised the stakes real high. We'd look close as fuck without the broken teeth and scars, but that's just proof I ain't afraid to lose a fight. Yeah. It thinks he's harder with the bars off the chain, but this dog's just tame, so I ain't playing with a canine. I put him down like euthanasia center stage, because this matchup's got that seal face. Just pray to a great white. Yeah. 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 He's even got fired from his family pub. That should be proof of it. I've been working up a murky cunt, serving cunt cells like a learner's car. This suburban thugs a skirt and chump, the worst he's done was burning grass. I hurt the cunt for personal stuff, your birds are slack. Working class. <laughs> Chop. <laughs> Skin's rough, inked up, and the lines are way off. Did Scandal teach you how to tattoo Mr. Fucking Michael J. Fox? <laughs> remember when we did a gig in Toowoomba? You remember, you remember guys. We both were pretty drunk. I was rocking out on stage, and some bitch throws her knickers up. I caught a whiff and fucked those jizz encrusted knickers, stuck a piss and cum. Look around and see who threw them. Guess who's standing there? Delivers mum. <laughs> Underwear like a cherry on a cricket bat. I've had nightmares. I've had. I've had nightmares about the stench that came from that bitch's snatch. So if Mumsy wants her undies, fuck it, can I'll give them back. She ain't talking about her homeboys when she yells out, "Where's all me knickers at?" <laughs> The only reason you're a champ is because Real Talk gave you a piggyback. The only reason he's the champ is because the strength in your division slack. The only reason you're the champ is because of motherfucking prison slang. <laughs> Jack the Ripper, catch the liver, then his neck gets slashed. Dodging bullets like the Matrix till his legs bend back. Whoa. You couldn't go round for round with a fresh 10 pack. Plus my dealer's always holding like a red head tap. Yeah. 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 That was a bad fucking idea getting in my way, lad. Real Talk's championship bout was just a lightweight match. You want the one out top spot, but while you're trying to claim that, I just packed State Arcane and got his title chain snatched. Woo! I'm gonna turn Dundee back into the poor Bogan Paul Hogan when we stop filming. Like a government tax case. 
Cause this cunt's all kosher in small doses But hopeless as a homeless doper When you know him in the pussy probably lactates It's the 27th of October I've already dropped my quota for this month But when this battle's over I'm going home to show Quasimodo about the rap game He's only throwing punches if they're low blows So I'll leave him exposed like a photo When I rolled his homo like a fat J And it's the fucking national So I'ma step it up a notch and make Australia proud it's like Eminem vs Papa Doc, the way nothing you can say will ever take me out. See, I've got more punches than you ever got, so you wanna fucking doubt me now? You think you're better than me? Well, I took out Case the fucking last time that I came down. See, cause last, last battle I bodied Case, cause he thought he was killer, but didn't know my caliber. Everyone said it was a long shot, but I stuck to my guns. Now I'm taking out gorillas like poachers do in Africa. <laughs> See, I've got more than enough ammo for your done as a thriller. So I'll keep you guessing while I assassinate your character. I've been in command of more rounds than Hitler, a weapon. So I'll always be in range to engage with a challenger. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. See? Robox always be in range to engage with a challenger. Alright, I'm gonna rip this rapper like an eager toddler with presents. You can call it the gift of the gap. My punches shock while I'm dropping contenders. So, it's, so, so my centers rock like a prison in Alcatraz. I got this sick shit under lock like a chemist. No one respects you without the raps. I bet you're pathetic, the meth epidemic has got him injecting points like a lecturer. So when a ripper pays straight, this fool gets capped. <laughs> Alright, that's it, game over, finished. And this is the only time this battle will be all done, D. He's had more solid shots in a three-round burst than a semi-automatic gun. So it's safe to say I brung here. You're more bogan than Winnie Blues, Bundy Rum and Wife Beaters. And this the country, and this the country you want representing your country? I'm tired of the Nebuchadnezzar screws, my letters be the screws in your coffin. Hot shot cause my lines just beat up this junkie. Yeah. 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 Let's get it! Winge fucking winch. <laughs> you unfortunate sad prick. You get mad and blame the fans cause the crowd snores on your wax spits. But if the crowd doesn't react, they ain't ignoring your raps, Chris. It's because everything you write is fucking boring as batshit. <laughs> like, I ain't applauding your tracks, bitch. When I hear your music, I cringe. I mean, you're just pissed off at the things that you had to do for the win. Shit, I'll be pissed off if my missus shaved the pubes on her minge and then the night before my battle they got glued to my chin. <laughs> The things that some cunts do. We need to calm down, Jimmy. That's enough kung fu. If he's left, right, swinging, then I'll lunge one, two, and bring a brain hammer ridge for the punch drunk crew. Oh. Yeah. See, I'll be doing your fam a favour by ganking your damn paper. Because your mum drags more rocks than a sandpaper and landscaper. Oh. You're just one of the seven kids of a slut that forever drinks off her government benefits and a budget from Centrelink. She's a scummy degenerate, always puffing the meth and shit. I bet that bitch seen more crack than a plumber's apprenticeship. Oh. Oh. Bitch, I'm done Diggler, Tim Duncan. They call me done as the Pelican. You're just sitting on a throne with no fucking inheritance. You play shows on that tazzy swag and it's bloody depressing, Chris, because it don't count when the whole crowd is your cousins or relatives. <laughs> So either BK or Ep spread a prep mad game. I don't give a fuck who. I'll leave that next man slain. You were the real talk champ. Pfft. Well, forget that, mate. Now, cause will have to come through me to fucking get that chain. Oh. Oh. Top contenders match. Shout out to both of these boys for traveling interstate to put on a show for you, Melbourne. Make some noise. The winner, going on to face the winner of the BKF's title match, our new top contender. Give it up for Dundee. Dudes, Tulls, one ounce nationals weekend. It's happening, it's all fucking really happening. We just had Dunners and Deliver. Look, um, I'm just gonna give it straight out to Dunners in three rounds, man. The way he fucking, he, the way he mixes his jokes and bars, his deliverance, everything is spot on, man. Deliver's an animal, bro. He's got crazy bars, but Dunners probably summed it up. A little bit boring sometimes, but fucking. Dunners is hungry, Deliver's the champ, probably fucking was the difference, and that's what it is. Cheers, one love. What's up? Just watched uh, Dundee vs Deliver for the title for one ounce. Uh, 
crazy battle. Both really brought their A game, but in the end, I've got to say, uh, Thunder's had just way too many haymakers that were just hitting consistently for Delivery to come back to. But uh, definitely a good, uh, good contender match. But in the end, Thunder's just came through with us. So, Thunder's man. What's up, it's Plan Frax here. Um, just watched the contender match. Fucking crazy battle, man. Dundee, I'm gonna have to give it to him, man. In all three rounds, man. That cunt is hungry as a motherfucker. He's like, ah, ah, he's battled bars, he's hitting hard. Best battle I've ever probably seen from Dundee. He just fucking straight slaughtered him, man. We've been half delivered to even beat that, so. I mean, like, don't battle. Props to deliver, man, but Dundee, he's hungry as fuck. One ounce, what? Yep. Um, yo, it's Barry Bonza. I uh, just just judged the contenders match, Deliver versus Dundee. Fucking sick battle. Uh, really classic. One of the best we've had in the league to date. Um, gotta say, um, I would have to go three rounds to Dundee as well. Um, he's killer tonight, bro. He's hungry as fuck. That's on. Um, and we got the title match next. And um, I gotta say, I'm looking forward to the result of that and seeing a classic matchup. So um, yeah. Um, Dundee, but mad respect to deliver. Um, hope, he, hope he does his thing against Big Cars. You hope. Uh, Barry Bonson, peace. Yeah. What up? It's Mason, One House Nationals, day two. We're getting to the fucking main events and shit. Dunners versus DD. Man, it was all D's up in there. They looked the same. They were dressed the same. At the end of the day, Dunners had better bars, I thought. More punchlines that were due with the crowd. The whole pubic hair. Goatee chin thing was really funny, but deliver like he's solid man. He's real fucking solid That's why he's a real tall champ. You know what I mean? Like his bars were all the way there But I think Dunner's just better on the day. So good luck to him whoever he faces BK or Reps or whatever I personally think I should have been in there, but fuck it. <laughs> have, a, have a shit one, eh? Hey? Yeah. <laughs>